Good evening, everyone. It's thank you. Is that all right? It's a pleasure to be here to speak to you on this very important occasion. But it feels strange to be standing here tonight to deliver the message of never again. Strange because anti-Semitism and Holocaust denial are rising at rates I never thought I would see again in my lifetime. And strange also because the specter of a murderous European dictator is cast across our continents once more. It has been my life's mission to ensure that we, the generation of the Holocaust, could look our children, our grandchildren, and even our great-grandchildren in the eye and tell them that their world, the world that they inherit, is to be a better one than the one that we were born into. But what it is clear to all of us now, more than ever, is that words, words like never again, are not enough. We must take action, too. Next month, in April, we will be taking part in our first March of the Living in three years. During those years, uh, COVID has taken away this opportunity for very many. I am now 91 years old, and I've taken part nine times. As you know, we survivors are becoming an increasingly rare breed. And this should give, uh, be a cause of worry to you more than to me. It should worry you because hatred of Jewish people and of the Holocaust, and I'm sorry, hatred of Jewish people and the Holocaust denial are still prevalent. If this is how the memory of the Holocaust is treated, or dare I say abused, when those who suffered it are still here to tell our story, then how much worse will it be when the survivors are no more than a distant memory? We, the survivors, need to know that Holocaust memory will be kept alive. Order. We need to know that Holocaust deniers will prevail. We need your voice against anti-Semitism and every form of hatred. This is why the March of the Living is so important and why 12 years ago, my good, far-sighted friend, Scott Saunders, insisted that the United Kingdom join the tens of thousands of people from all around the world in walking the three kilometers from Auschwitz to Birkenau on Yom HaShoah. Those who walk along the railroad tracks in Auschwitz become witnesses to the Holocaust and in turn, they create a new generation of witnesses. This year, I will once again be able to pass the torch on. The flame of memories will glow brighter than ever before. And I hope and I pray that the flame will light a fire in the next generation so that when they too say never again, the world will at long last actually listen. Thank you. So please indulge me. I just want to say a few words to E first, and then I'll address everyone. 